Hello, I'm Shamal Lane and today I'm going to make my first cuts into these papers from my new Christmas collection, Christmas Magic with American Crafts, and uh, make my first layout with this collection. So I'm very, very excited. I've printed out a special 5x7 photo just to get started and I've chosen some papers and then that's all the planning I've done. I haven't planned ahead from there. I'm going to use this... Um, stripe, tone on tone green stripe for my background. So I'm just going to take the brand new strip off that one. And I'll keep all my, my little printed edges. That's the branding strip but it has the pattern on the other side so I'll keep that handy and keep them all in sight in case something comes up that's useful. And I want to use the stripe as a frame around the edge and then have this text print. So I'll take this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to take the text off both sides because the text has a margin on both sides. So rather than have one margin and one end in the middle by just cutting the whole um, the whole piece off one side, I'm going to cut a little bit off each one so that I have no margin on the edges. And I'm going to use brown ink for my accents on this layout. And I think. Um, if you are somebody that likes to ink edges, obviously you can use red and green ink or you can use black, um, but the brown does work well with the vintage tones in the collection. And everything is done a, a little bit so that it is vintage and it, it should feel a little bit like maybe some Christmas things that you might remember. A lot of it's based on things that are Christmas things that I remember from my childhood. Um, but that it should still feel relatively contemporary. It shouldn't feel um, too old, I guess. I guess that's what I'm going for. It shouldn't feel antique. <laughs> it should just feel a bit nostalgic. Um, I'm using a new adhesive. This is the American Crafts um, Sticky Thumb new adhesive roller. This is the first time I've used it really, so um, we'll see how we get on. I've always used, well for a long time, I've been using their this to that roller with the dotted adhesive, and this is a solid adhesive, so we'll see if I like that as much. Okay, now I've got green and those tans. I'd like to, or tans, <laughs> white and black. I'd like to bring in um, the red, and then I also have some other options. I have what's on the back. This one, that's a plaid. Okay, so I definitely want the red lights, but maybe not to frame the photo. If I put that you can see this is a very very warm photo because it was all lit by the Christmas lights in the house um, and if I put that next to the red the warmness actually makes the photo look more red than it is so I think I'd rather have that as an accent I would like to bring these trees in that also has the wood grain on the back and I think I like that better as a frame for the photo so I will Trim a, a pretty sizable frame, not huge, but a nice size mat for this. And then I'm going to do some horizontal stripes, I think, with the lights and the trees. I started with these two horizontal strips, but I think it would be nice to have something that has a little more contrast of the white against this white pe white print as well. So I'm going to add some green. I know that then means that I have green against green here. But I think that's okay. Um, just looking, would I prefer to have the red at the bottom, perhaps, and the green at the top? I think that might might suit just a little bit better. Then, photo is going to go about there. I think I'd like to add some little detail that's going to go across this join here, and it might even be a good spot to bring in something like. A washi tape or a ribbon or some baker's twine. Let me see what I can grab. Had a look at my washi tapes and I've picked out these two that I've kind of rationed for years. If you don't recognize them, they are some of the first washi tapes that Amy Tangerine had in her collections. A wood grain and a yellow ruler. And I've chosen these because I want something to go across here that's a little darker um, and I was wondering if I wanted to go with something that's similar or if I wanted the contrast. 
And I think I'm going to go with the contrast. So just because I know that the next element I want to bring onto the page is also wood grain, and I'm worried that all that brown might make it a little bit too dark. So I thought the yellow might lighten it up. Um, I think another good choice here would be something uh, in gold foil. But I didn't have a, um, a gold tape handy. And then I'm going to go ahead and commit with the photo. <laughs> Photo's going down, but I'm not putting adhesive all the way to the edge because I want to be able to tuck things underneath those edges. And I can use this text print to help get everything lined up nice and straight. Yeah, because it's all straight horizontal lines of text. Okay, so I have this piece, which I was planning to bring in, but it's also... It's quite dark to use right next to this, so I have a couple options. One, I could put something along this edge for contrast, or I could just use a different piece and save this for something, perhaps the facing page in the album, because that would be a nice way to tie the two pages together, is to have that little bit of matching wood grain. So I think that's what I'll do. I will um, I'll pop that to the side for now, and maybe I bring in the Santa, because this is... Um, you know, a nice youthful page, or do I bring in this cute little camera maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the camera. But I wanted to bring in something here that if I was going to take the wood grain piece that I'd picked out away, I wanted to bring in something that was lighter and would add a bit um, more color to the page. So choosing one of those two that has the aqua background would work. Okay, so I think this will work here. And then I'm going to have a look at all my embellishment options. And since this is the first page I've made, I have literally full packs of everything. So I can decide what else I'm going to put with this now that I know my camera is going to have that big frame around it. Pulling out my embellishments, I decided I would go with these two cards kind of... Uh, forming my plan for everything else because they're the same colors and a similar um, similar shape even though this one is smaller obviously but the ratios are similar so I'm thinking because this this side of the photo has a small gap and this side of the photo has a large gap that I'll create this kind of imaginary diagonal line that goes across here and I'll use these two pieces to anchor my embellishment and then I'll pile on more smaller embellishments um, and then that should give me room at uh, top and bottom here for title and journaling words. Um, I don't have a massive plan of what's going to go in there. Beyond that, I've just decided I will go with the Christmas lights from the die cut pack, the ephemera pack, um, because of the, the Christmas lights in the tree. And I wanted to keep this on a tiny little angle and have just a little bit of the red paper showing here. And I'll put this one on an angle. so that it's a little bit lower than the, that top edge of the photo. Don't want a huge angle, really just want a teeny, teeny, tiny one. And then I'll build from here. So it would be nice if I had another little kind of square rectangle type element to go next to that. I have lots of small pieces I can work with, like the rub-ons, the stickers, and the wood veneer, or the wood buttons. I, mean, I always want to say wood veneer, it's not wood veneer, it's buttons. <laughs> Wanting to have something else that's kind of square, rectangular, and, and preferably in green up here. So I'm going to use this die cut with the old Christmas tree, but I'm going to take the record off. Um, I really do want to use the records. Um, in fact, I already have an idea for what page they're going to go on in my album. but. For this time I just want to focus on the tree so I'm going to bring it down to just that shape and then I can keep the little record piece for another page. So this one needs some brown ink around the edges. I'm adding brown ink to everything except the, those light blue pieces just because I'm not a big fan of um, the light blue with brown edges. Just seeing if I want to 
this on top or underneath this card, and I think underneath. So I need to get the placement just right so that it will still say, oh, Christmas tree. And then I'm going to bring in my little Christmas light bulbs. So maybe I'll point them down like they would be hanging. I'll bring one there. One down to this edge where the embellishment meets the photo. And I'll do one on this side of the photo as well. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and trim this edge. I normally leave it till the end, but I think it will help me get the balance of the embellishment right if I go ahead and trim it now. These spray stickers should be pretty easy, easy for me to layer in next. Um, just looking at my color balance as I go across, I also want something to kind of take me to the edge of the paper here because this one goes off the edge, so I want the embellishment to go off the edge over here. So I'm just going to look at all my different words and colors and figure out what would be the best match. I quite like the idea of using the dressed in the holiday style on this particular layout because he's only dressed in a Christmas nappy. So <laughs> let's see if I can make that work in this space over here. I think I'll need to take a little bit off this front edge as well. Sure, my whole oh, word's going to fit on there. Yep, that works. So it would be nice to bring something like that down to this corner. And I'm just going to repeat that sort of idea. Of if it goes on this side, then it goes over here, but in a smaller format. Better match. Okay. This one's starting to look very blue and green, so it'd be nice to bring a little bit of red into this one, and preferably with the small button. Two little lights together there. Since those are on a red background, I will keep with that theme and I will put another one with a red background up here. The trees. And then some rub ons because I'm excited to use these. Take this small one down to the small section, and then I'll use the other two, which are longer phrases, up there at the top. <laughs> See, I have lots of different options for placing it, and I think I might actually bring it up here. To complement these embellishments, I'd really like to add some circular elements, and one thing I thought about doing 
was using the circles from this particular pattern paper which has all different sizes of the different patterns and I think I am going to do that on a layout soon but I'm not going to do it on this one instead I wanted to bring in a little bit more of this pattern that I started with because I've covered up almost all of it so I'm just going to use a small pink circle punch and have a, a few of those that I can then tuck behind the different elements and have a little bit more of that pattern. I want to run my title in this area here and I'm going to use both styles of thickers, the black and the red, but I want to start with the black because I think that will make it a bolder um, bit of lettering to start the title so that it's a bit obvious amongst all this text which one is the title. So these are the black foam thickers in Eclair. the embellishment done and I need to add my journaling and I've come up with two spots where I'm going to add a little bit of handwriting. One is this little pocket that's appeared between these two circles here at the top and I'm just going to use a brown pen to write first Christmas on top of this text and I don't really mind um, if that's not perfectly legible being text on text uh, because it, it's going to be obvious from the, the pages in my album that that's his first Christmas and I just kind of would like something in this little space here. And then I'm going to bring um, some journaling down here and I wanted to give that a bit more of a container so it would be clearer to read. And at first I thought I might use this die cut which I pulled out at the very beginning. But now looking I have this aqua color in two spots and it would make a lovely little triangle if I brought it down to this space as well. To complete that little triangle I'm going to cut this plain aqua tag from the Give pattern paper that has all the different to and from tags on that 12 by 12 and so that I can pop my journaling down here and have that nice little triangle of the design. I think I can make this little piece just... <laughs> yeah, just there. <laughs> A tiny, tiny little bit of it. And then I'm going to use some gold color shine mist to go up to each of these little green pink circles with just a little bit of sparkle to pull it all together. Just looking at the layout almost finished and the only spot that I'm really not 100% happy with is this little gap here where I decided to move the lettering over so that it lined up more on the right side. I've ended up with this little gap on the left but I think I'll be perfectly happy with it if I add in a little Christmas tree which wouldn't go astray here. I'm going to pop it underneath this button so I'm just going to pop that up off the page for a second and then return the button there. And that works for me and that also made me think along with those little bits of gold mist I could also add in a few of these little chipboard star stickers. And these are from the chipboard sticker sheet or sticker set which is the the flatter thinner chipboard so that if you um, want to use them in pockets or cards or anything where you don't want a lot a lot of bulk and these are good uh, a good happy medium where they have just a little bit of dimension but not so much that it will cause you trouble. I think that's where I'm going to stop. Thank you so so much for watching this first layout with the Christmas Magic Collection and I hope to share many more projects with it uh, as we get closer to Christmas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you soon.